What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. You are on Garage Denali. This is Jonathan here. Uh, this is my first video of 2020, so I just want to wish you guys a happy new year and uh, welcome back to the channel like I said. So today what I'm doing is I'm going to my friend John's house and uh, we're going to the garage actually because he is working on his 1986 Ford F-150. So. If you guys remember uh, a few videos back, we went to the junkyard and we picked up a bunch of interior pieces, a bunch of trim. So ultimately what we're going to be doing, what John's going to be doing is he's going to be changing the interior color of his truck. Uh, it was originally gray and then he converted it to like a tan color. And uh, now he's going to be changing it over to red. So uh, I think it's going to make his truck look pretty cool, black over red. It's going to look very time period appropriate, very 80s I guess and uh, we picked up a bunch of pieces so we're gonna clean them up put a new layer of paint on them and then we're going to or he's going to i guess i'll be helping him out he's going to be swapping them in his truck and to change it up a little bit dress it up so uh, it's a cool little project that he's got so i'm on my way over there right now he's going to be uh painting the underside a little bit uh, doing some uh, rust protection some rust coating Ooh, pothole so uh uh, add a little bit of protection for his truck there as well, but that's what we're gonna be doing We're gonna be working on the underside a little bit, and then we are going to uh, Be doing the interior prep, so let's jump right into it so We are here and John just finished doing the drum brakes on the truck and you can see all that hardware in there is brand new obviously except for the drum itself but I guess that doesn't really matter so he just checked the handbrake says it works perfectly fine so pretty nice so as you can also see we did a little bit of rust undercoating right in there so it's uh, all black and shiny so he's gonna add another layer of that as the weather gets warmer a little bit to add more protection but so far Pretty good progress. So what John is doing right now is he's taking a wire brush to the front part of that diff right there just to loosen up some of the rust and other debris that might be on there. He's gonna get it prepped for paint and uh, throw on a nice coat of uh, you know, rust protection paint over that, whatever it is he's got. So that's what he's doing right now. So now John is working on uh, cleaning the frame up a little bit. So as you can see, he took that wire brush to the frame right there. We're gonna hit this area as well as soon as he's done. So a little by little, we're gonna clean this truck up real good. And you can just breathe all that rust particles. Oh yeah. So right now, John just uh, sprayed the entire area with some purple power degreaser cleaner just to get off all the loose dust particles and debris and whatever else is still on. So the surface area can be as clean as possible. So when he goes ahead and covers it in the paint, it will have a nice solid even bond and uh, shouldn't have any issues with uh, flaking or adhesion at all. So we're just uh, gonna go ahead and dry this up right now before we go ahead and Cover it up. Okay guys, so as you can see, this is what we're about to use to coat that part of the truck that John just uh, grinded down a little bit. Some good old chassis saver. Uh, as you can see, high build gloss black, so just add a little bit of styling elements to that part of the truck, but more importantly to just kind of seal that area off, prevent it from rusting any further than it already is to uh, help prolong the life of the truck. So. We're uh, about to get started on this right now. So as you guys can see on that first part of the diff that uh, John is covering up with the chassis saver, uh, there's nothing else to it. You just uh, dip the brush in the actual paint, cover it up, and uh, should be good to go. So I don't know about you guys, but I've always enjoyed painting the act of painting. So. I kind of wish I was doing that, but regardless, John is uh, covering up his diff to keep it from rusting anymore. Okay, so if you look closely, you can see uh, 
Picasso here is putting his finishing touches on the bottom part of that diff. It looks brand new. I mean, I guess a new diff is like what, silverish kind of? Something like that, but regardless, it looks new. Fresh coat of paint always makes things look very good. And uh, you can't argue with that, how nice that looks. As you guys saw before what it looked like and now what it's like now. That's what we're about to do with uh, the axle. You can see that's already painted. And uh, we're going to be doing the same thing on the frame over here. Alright, so as you guys can see here, John just got done painting the axle as well as the diff. So you can see that looks pretty good. So it's not 100% perfect, but I'm sure on camera you guys can hardly tell. But for what it is, it's, uh, it looks pretty good. So that's a job well done. Okay guys, so as you can see right here, these are all the interior trim pieces or the majority of the interior trim pieces that we scored. So if you remember that video I posted, I think it was back in October, uh, last time we went to the junkyard we got all these parts. So as you can see, the majority of them are this uh, tan color and what we're aiming for is this nice dark red color. So we were able to score these from a truck. but. We are going to be repainting them red so it's all nice and uniform and it matches and you can see we got some door panels here which are in pretty good shape for their age so of course these are also going to be stained red, painted red. So we're going to really make this truck look pretty cool so we're going to delve right into the process of uh, sanding these right now. Okay, so now what John's about to do is he's about to apply some uh, paint adhesion promoter onto these two pieces right here. And uh, we're going to let that cure for a little bit and then we can go ahead and uh, paint them red. And then we'll see how they come out and uh, we'll decide from there if uh, it's a go or not. Okay, so we are going to paint it. We're using a color coat brand of uh, paint. There you go, if anybody's interested. Red cat. I don't know what shade this is exactly, but it's uh, good enough. Firethorn red. So if you're interested, if you want to paint your interior red, there you go. Firethorn red. right now let that dry for a little bit as the first coat then we're gonna come back and apply the second and now coat number three Go. Here's another close up of our A pillar trim covers, trim interior pieces. We're just letting it dry right now, but you can see it's a nice cherry red, dark red color. It looks pretty good in uh, all the grooves, all the accents, all the nooks and crannies of it. And just for a comparison, this is what the factory red looks like, and mind you, this has probably faded over time to a degree. It is over 30 years old, so you got to keep that in mind, but color match is uh, not that far off. It's funny because the factory color looks kind of purple when you compare the two, but honestly, I think this will be a nice red in the interior as well, kind of brighten it up a little bit too. So as you can see, this is uh, what we've accomplished so far. So eventually what's going to happen is we're going to take all these other pieces and paint them the same exact red, make it all uniform and uh, make it look complete and match. So that includes the dash, the pieces up here in the, in the ceiling, A pillar, B pillar, I guess. Um, the seat eventually is gonna be reupholstered, so that's gonna be red eventually, door panels, everything. So it's all gonna look factory fresh. And uh, it's gonna really make this truck look pretty darn cool. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, don't mean to abrupt it all of a sudden, but unfortunately that's all the time we have for right now. So uh, if you are interested in uh, 
riding along with the progress of this truck right here, feel free to subscribe. Be sure to hit that like button. Check us out on Instagram, at Garage Denali. Thank you very much. Take care and have a great night.